Hello everybody. Um, I am making a comment video just because I feel it's more efficient sometimes to record things um, and try to get them get the point across. I just had a uh, an epiphany sort of. Um, you know, for a long time, like uh, I'm sure mo a lot of you, um, I've been turning in my head the whole subject of um, of uh, re rehabilitation and recovery, recuperation of uh, people, recuperation, I, I think I'm translating from another language, but in any case, in any case um, you know, and I, uh, at, to implement and bring transformation reform to the judicial, the penitentiary correctional system, and, um, you know, I've uh, started by something very basic, which I've called natural redemption. Natural redemption basically is, um, is the natural mechanisms in the brain that we have when, when for example, our, our children do something against their parents' um, wishes, and they know it, and the parent, in a, in a contained way, without ever making them feel that they're not loved or they're not part of the family or they're not understood, which is difficult for a lot of parents, of course, but uh, the success stories of such families are that the children ideally come around and, and realize and they feel regret, they feel sorry, they made their parents upset, and, and then they try to make up for it. And in tribal times, we've had tribal times to, ma to mean uh, ancient or ancient history, uh, the way we, in which we, before we had big <laughs> judicial systems and armed police in, in the world, in our in human civilization, you know, we had systems that still go on today in the Amazons, in Africa, um, the Middle East, in some places, where the person who the villagers have identified as having done something terrible are brought before the elders and, um, the difference is that uh, this 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 is a uh, it comes from also from the anthropological understanding of evolutionary science, where nobody really wants to not belong to the to the species to the, nobody really wants to not be accepted, and so when the person who did something against the the fabric of society, however we want to define that, is made to feel that he's understood. We've known you since you were, we're surprised. We can't believe you did this, but it is wrong. We can't accept it. Sees that he's still loved, that he's not ex expelled or, or um, uh, separated in any way. And yet, within that context, he is uh, um, uh, reprimanded and, and, and not allowed to do this. Um, by society or by the by the the, the 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 judging clan of elders, let's let's imagine. The natural redemption happens, and um, you know, and what we what we commonly talk about today as remorse, he felt no remorse. Of course, <laughs> no prisoner feel it's the natural tendency. Maybe uh, very exceptionally, they do, but it's because it's a natural tendency. Precisely, this is a very organic. Uh, scientific understanding of the reality, real mechanisms and dynamics that happen in the human brain. Uh, and so it does happen, but you know, you can't blame the person today and this, the way we are going about it in modern society, um, in punishing and looking for who to blame and being so judgmental and, and, and piling years of punishment uh, for, uh, for us to expect that people ought to feel remorse is actually uh, pretty ridiculous because we're making it impossible for the brain to go through the processes and dynamics that it would normally. So this is this is what uh, rehabilitation is. You know, maybe hasn't elaborated well enough, um, but it basically it's what it is based on. And so uh, I've been turning this in my head a lot, uh, like like I'm sure a lot of you have, and um, the other day I was thinking about. Well, you know, if you gave people um, the chance to uh, do work, actual concrete work, after sentencing them for, let's say, 30 years, for example, 
Um, and you said, well, but if you study and you get a degree and you, you make available a system in which it's serious university study while they're in prison, which can be later easily um, transferred so they don't go back to society with a degree from prison, but uh, they get a certificate which later at a university of their choice, they can simply take a few exams which they will obviously be very prepared for and get the real degree from that university. Um, or for example, to uh, make their own food, make their own clothing, uh, paint their own buildings and create a sort of contained uh, working society that directly results in the quality of their lives. All these things uh, which would um, towards a trans uh, sort of a maturing of, of those parts of their psyche which have been underdeveloped or or are traumatized by their whatever complexity of problems that made them be, have the way the lives that they had um, would equal and the incentive the incentive for them doing it because one of the problems is that you can't have both at the same time you can't have rehabilitation and also punish you're bad you're bad but work and do something while you're here makes no sense also results in a lessening so they direct of their sentences uh, which means um, in like for example if they get a five-year degree in engineering instead of serving 30 years they serve nine years or ten years and so there's a great incentive for them to be serious about their studies or serious about involvement and uh, and so this, I, then all of a sudden, it, it, it started making sense. The, I, I started seeing um, function ways in which natural redemption could be achieved through the process of correction, of corrections. And just now, I, I was watching a documentary on the human brain on, on eating amino, um, eating certain fatty acids, and it had nothing to do with this. But for some reason. How it, it's it's it well how omega threes will uh, result in in rats that are um, omega depriving a rat and, and therefore the theory is that the human beings are are we're becoming we're losing our memory and becoming less intelligent as we're uh, losing the uh, faculty of uh, uh, of, of uh, quickness in our mind as we grow older because we're depriving our our diet of omega threes and so. Uh, anyways, I was watching this document and all of a sudden I realized, and if at this, uh, to this system that I was just describing, you added also the option of, of um, sort of like when you, um, I thought immediately of, of Facebook, where if uh, you can have a fundraiser for your birthday and have people uh, give you money that gets donated to a cause, <laughs> like, uh, you know, star starving children in somewhere in Asia or Africa. Um, and have something similar like, like that where people, because I'm thinking of how, what it, how it results, what it does to, um, to the, to the healing, the, the, the psychological aspect. This is, I, I'm, I, I don't know how to explain it so well because I'm not studied in this subject. But um, basically, if you give them the option of that work that they do, in other words, to lessen, to lessen the time can be done towards their own university degree or, or building or, or making, working in a, a textile prison factory where they, they create all the, make all the uniforms and all the clothing for, um, for the prisoners. Or they could, uh, you know, do work that results in something good for society. For example, um, well, I haven't actually thought of what could be an example now that I think about it. But um, for example, instead of uh, work, um, something they can do some kind of work that benefits society and the amount of years that get taken perhaps is less so that they don't do it uh, they don't do something altruistically instead of working on a degree or, or painting their own their own prison buildings, but do work that is in the benefit of society 
I don't know, maybe building uh, furniture for elders, for example, so that elders can go get free brand new furniture without having to pay for it. It gets built in prison and they have, the elders have free furniture, new, beautiful, well-designed, modern quality furniture. Uh, and they get taken uh, from their sentence, they have reduced a little less instead of getting reduced um, you know, 10 years, they, they, they get reduced eight years, you know, just so enough so that it's not, so that they don't do it for that reason. But they have the choice in their heart to do something that is giving back to society. And therefore, instead of not just to them, not just to help them, uh, you know, catch up with whatever their brain needs to build as far as uh, respect and love for themselves and others and collect, you know, it's a whole complicated subject there, but, um, and that wouldn't that make it much, just much more of a rich concept, um, anyways, that's just, that's what I wanted to share, and, and, um, I guess the, what I'm looking to see if I can do through these videos is create a, um, a subject matter, eventually the, the, the point would be to present a bill uh, a reform bill that turns in, uh, that changes prisons into places of of uh, constructiveness, uh, where it's not about punishing them. It's not about everybody being treated like dirt and and uh, wearing the same clothes. But I mean, just the fact that the whole point of prison is removing people where we don't know anymore how to how to change their behavior, removing them from society. I believe we can all agree. Uh, there are some people that are moralistic, uh, antiquated in my view, with with punishing Puritan religious kind of uh, influences that come from the past, where they feel that people have to pay for their crime. It doesn't change anything. We've had prisons and we have death penalty and we pile up more years after the 70s. We've increased the, the length of sentences for the stupidest things. And we still have serial killers, random shooters, pedophilia. I mean, our society doesn't get better because of punishing citizens. And so we should concur that the problem is really we don't know what to do when somebody becomes dangerous to society. So do, do we need to torture them and, and create gang situations where prisoners... I, I did uh, unfairly, somebody lied and they got me arrested for something, then I had the thing dropped. Luckily, I got a better judge, and they said, oh, obviously, this person lied about that. It didn't really happen, and they, ch they dropped the charges. But I suffered through 22 days, which is nothing, I'm sure, to a lot of people of, in county jail. And, um, you know, I, I've seen uh, torture situations, actual torture, psychologically torture situations that happen. For example, they... Um, uh, have to take a shower, and there's, like, gang members and they steal, that somebody lends you, you don't have shoes, you don't have slippers, uh, flip-flops to go in the showers with, and somebody um, who's white also, or whatever, you know, will, will say, hey, you know, we'll help you, here's, and then somebody gets them stolen so that you get in trouble, and then you're panicked, and then they whisper things like, we're gonna get you when you're alone, and people live in panic. I mean, I saw people, somebody dragged out of, uh, you know, across the, the jail corridor because, and you heard them, I heard them five minutes before they were being choked to death by their own, uh, per, the, own per, the person in jail. Now, I know that that person may have been killed or, or may have barely made it because they pulled him out unconscious and that his own, I, because I saw how things are, that that um, cellmate is not going to get blamed for it because there's all the, there's this world this underworld of horror that happens that nobody talks about it's incredible nobody talks about um and it actually does happen so jail is a place in which where where citizens go to get tortured unofficially it seems um and so to change this into something that is maybe better than norway or or Denmark is really uh, an enormous, uh, enormous dream for uh, our country, but uh, we would have to think of how to achieve it, uh, how to how to well, one step at a time. We have to give it a name. We have to uh, 
speak of the sciences, what are the name of, of these sciences when we talk about natural redemption and the dynamics that are actually biologically, neurologically present in the brain, you know, find the, the science field that it's about and then uh, what is that type of correctional um, penitentiary uh, philosophy called? We don't have a name for these things. We're just too accustomed uh, to having countries that are where we find criminals that later are tortured. And we're, that's not what we want. We want to heal the victims of our civilization. Um, people grow up in the world, the world, the world makes us. <laughs> the way we end up becoming because of where we were born, what they taught it's we have this idea that people are born mean and also is an interesting subject in itself that comes from, you know, layers of, of, of growing up in civilizations that believe uh, God or however mankind is born in, in sin and all these ideas that uh, result in societies and cultures that we assume that there is a certain number of people that have to be bad and must be punished because they will we have this this evil, this this Achilles heel that is and it's not true. We are formed by the by the by what raises us, what where our families, our education, the messages, all the cultural messages that bombard us during our formative years and later will give us the ideas of what is possible in our behavior and what to expect or what how we should react towards the behavior of others. And so People who are in jail are really the victims of our civilization and what we have come to believe uh, uh, about our existence. So how do we give a name? How do we give a name to the, the school of thought that uh, understands a different and understands more correctly, uh, more accurately, uh, the subject of people who don't want to harmonize, or want to go against, they help, don't have no love or respect for the idea of the rights of others or society or however, and understand the problem, identify the problem as these that population of people that so far suffer the, the wrath of our judicial and penitentiary system. Why do they occur? Will there always be uh, uh, a number of people that just want to demonstrate that they can break something or and and or or is it because we are ignoring ourselves in many ways and that results in a certain number of people that will protest and so the subject so sociologically is not it's, it's not even discussed it's not even tackled um in 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 university and schools of until in books and stuff yeah we talk about things we don't implement them in the creation of nations so in order to bring about changes in a nation, we have to first give these things uh, a name, an area where people can go to and they know that's under that title, that is what's happening there. If we don't have that, um, all we do is protest and shout and, and say we don't want more, any more of this or this is wrong or this is bad. But it doesn't really bring about transformation in an, an entire, in an essential sense, a complete and, and total transformation of of uh, that whole aspect of nationhood and, uh, at the institutional level, for, towards the institutional level. Okay, so that's my comment, and that's it. So long, thanks.